And today's review is brought to you by the awesome guys over at Robot Kingdom. Hello everyone, it's Ben. And today I'm going to be having a look at the Generations of Voyager Springer. Now, I had some concerns about this after watching uh, Bottom Matrix's video yesterday of uh, Blitzwing, because he had some QC issues that mine didn't. Um, I'm just hoping that his awesomely perfect Springer um, doesn't mean I've got QC issues on my Springer. Um, have a look at the box. Obviously it's the 30th. 30 years, really? Wow, where's that gone? Um, there's his alt modes, he's got a bit of tech spec down there, and of course this is IDW. I'm really liking these IDW bots. Um, this is number one of series two, Blitzwing was number two of series two. Uh, yeah, there he is, my review um, will be linked just above. Springer out of the box, a um, few little mods you've got to do there, just flick the green heel spur out and this back section's up here, just spin it around like so. Um, he's good isn't he? See, I, 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 have, see, I, had, I don't have Defender, um, I wanted to get Defender but I've, I've, he's a lot of money isn't he? And uh, I saw this guy come up and I thought, oh he looks good. And I love the last stand of the wreckers, which is obviously what this is based off. And um, yeah, he's got the big shoulders. He's he's he looks like a wrecker, doesn't he? He's got that dominating mass to him. Um, it's a very very nice head sculpt. I mean, I think they've done a very good job. And um, sometimes you. You see them, they try and convert it from a comic or a film or something to a toy, and it looks horrendous. Um, take the <coughs> movie line, for example. Um, my opinion is they've done a good job with this. He looks very pleasing to the eye. I mean, minimal kibble. I'm quite happy with that. I was worried the legs were going to be a bit spindly, but I think they are quite blocky. They actually look very, very nice. As you can see, I've just joined his sword to the gun, but obviously you can have it like so as well. Um, you can have it above the hand, but I like to have it underneath them. Um, I saw somebody on uh, Facebook, I think it was, had like a chain gun with him. Um, it may have been a Shapeways one or something like that. That looked really good. Proper wreck and roll job that was. Oh, I'm so happy with this guy. Um, Yellow plastic, I could probably do with a little bit more orange, I think. I think he was slightly more orange in the comic, but, you know, I'm happy. And let's be honest, any bot that can reach and draw his own sword, that's impressive, isn't it? That's a lot of articulation, and, yeah, it's good. Now, to get this dude in his uh, vehicle modes, you want to get your weapons and remove them. And I'll start with car mode. Uh, we'll start with the uh, shoulders here. And that just slides down like so. And uh, should click in. There's a lot of tabs on this guy. Um, plastic. It's green painted. Mm, not a fan of that. Um, open up this section here. And then you want to flip your hands in like so. Then with this, you can just open that like that. So you're left with something that looks like that. And you can then turn this round and pull this down. And again, that will just slot in nicely. Uh, the shoulders, um, just unpeg them and just pull them down. Don't need to tab them in anyway, just pull them down just so they're out of the way to allow the uh, transformation to take place. Pull this back section down, and this is on a kind of hinge. So if you look just under there, just rock that down, and again, just tabs in like so. It's starting to come together, isn't it? Right, the head. Um, you kind of wiggle that down, but because there's landing gear underneath there, um, <laughs> it's a little bit of a mish. Um, kind of manoeuvre it 
ish around there. Look. Yeah, and then bring the head down and poke that in the hoodle there. Like so. Pop the uh, landing gear in. You then wiggle these back up to where they were, and that just clicks in like so, applying moderate force. Push the heel spurs down, like so, and like so, and just make sure everything's kind of tabbed in. Just uh, yeah, it's going around tidying yourself up basically. You were pretty much sorted. And plug that in there. There's a couple of little tabs there. Now with these sections, make sure the feet are fully up and then just fold them in half. And again, that will just tab in. He says, there we go, we're in. Now adjust your spoiler accordingly. And... Uh, yeah, there's a nice little, uh, if you move these fins up, you can just tuck the sword underneath just to keep everything stored. And let's chuck the gun on top. I like this. It's kind of um, almost reminiscent of the crossovers. Uh, I think the Captain America. It kind of looks like that sort of Jeep look to it, military. Um, which, of course, Springer is. Uh, I... <laughs> They, they've painted the plastic. I hate that. How come third parties can release like counterfeit things that are using yellow plastics or using green plastics, but Hasbro just seem to paint everything. They, they start with the grey plastic and just paint it up. Um, I just wish they had, because the yellow is slightly different to the actual... You can see in the middle there, the yellow bit on the bonnet is the yellow plastic, and everything around it is painted green or grey but that, that, that that's my gripe that's my quibble about this but all in all I think this mode works um, looks like a beefed up bat mill doesn't it now to get him into his helicopter mode unfortunately there's no real shortcuts you just got to go back to the bot mode and leave his hands kind of flappy open like that and leave these shoulders tucked in like we did for the very first steps and just kind of yeah, do 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 do. From here, tuck the uh, lights in, covering the hands, and then bend this section over a, a ninety degree. Now you can see here, there's double hinged pin there. Um, if you try and bend it, there is a tab there, and it will not tab in. So you've got to apply pressure just above where the fist is on the wrist. And that will straighten out that hinge, and then it will tab in nicely. He says, tap, 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 tap. There we go, we're in. And you can just tidy up by tucking the hands back in. There you have a Springer with beefy shoulders. Untab from his chest. Again, you're just doing this to allow you to move this chest section up and... ah. Oh, if they hadn't put that landing gear under there, this head would swing under there nicely. Um, just manoeuvring it around. I mean, if anything's going to cause any paint chipping at all, it will be this. Um, uh, down you get that. There we go. His head is out. Let's put that back under his chest. Put the landing gear down and plug that in like so. Now you wiggle these down and again they sit in there nicely, it's nearly there. And from here just fold these down, these then become the wheels. Fold the feet up into the uh, kind of pointy position and these just tab together uh, hang on. Da, 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 da. There we go. See, they just tab nicely together there. Now, if you grab the green back section, just that there, there is a tab for these to go in. Um, 
the only way of getting that tab in, I'll just double check, yep, you have to move the legs towards it, so you're going to have to bend them up slightly, and that should then just put an arch on the helicopter, but it will tab in perfectly, like so. And we're basically there, just flip these up, and uh, what are we missing? We're missing a blade, aren't we? Um, grab your sword, pull that in half, spin these round, grab this little green bit, flip that round, and uh, where the green bit there. And let's just uh, plug that in top, like so. Does it spin? Yes, it spins lovely. Um, put your landing gear in, and you can just plug the gun in like so. And then we have some sort of like... Some beefed up kind of airwolf. That's a great helicopter, isn't it? I like that. I think I prefer the helicopter mode to the car mode. That's... Uh, very Cybertronian, and of course the, uh, <laughs> sorry I had to do this, the girl walk. Why not, eh? Why not? It's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, I'm sad. Um, here he is with his wreckers. Now, um, Wells too short, Perceptor's too short. Um, I think he is absolutely fine. He's, uh, you know, about an inch taller than Cup, and he, he's a bit, a little bit bigger than the Mech Idea guys, but he's a good, uh, good size figure. He's, uh, yeah, he fits in really, really well. I'm, um, I'm glad I didn't get Defender. I really am glad I didn't buy him. This guy is much more affordable and uh, extremely poseable. He feels very solid there aren't um, voids in him there's no empty plastic like there was with your uh, Fall of Cybertron Grimlocks where he had the hollow legs and the hollow back this guy feels well made and I am pretty sure the IDW guys will be very happy with the uh, Hasbro's representation of him and yes he does indeed hold the Stormbreaker you could get yourself a green one of these and pop it in, or and uh, yeah, it's kind of G1-ish, isn't it? <laughs> He's a good solid lump who looks the part. Here he is with Blitzwing. Um, Blitzwing does stand about the about a centimeter or so taller and slightly wider, but if I was to pick from the two. I would probably go for Springer just because I am a Wreckers fan. Um, <laughs> he's a good figure. Uh, if you don't have him and haven't ordered him, please do so. You won't regret it. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, take care and goodbye.